Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 5th of July 2018. We're going to reflect on Matthew chapter 9 verses 1 to 8. After getting into a boat, he crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then some men were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw this, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. The Gospel of the Lord. There is one moment in my life that I will never forget, because it changed me forever. After 25 years in the spiritual wilderness, I returned to Christ. I made my first confession soon after that. It was a very emotional time. Truly sorry for all the things that I had done to hurt Jesus, I wept as I have never wept before. When I finished making my confession, the priest absolved me and told me to say a rosary for my penance. And I was astonished. A rosary? That that was it? 25 years of sinning and I get away with a rosary? I asked the priest that. He smiled, but not very amused. He said, what would you like to do? And I said, I don't know, Father. You know, make it at least 25 rosaries, one for each year I've been away. Okay, he said, if that's what you want to do, then do it. But for me, it wasn't enough. In the world I came from, if somebody blacked out one eye, you blacked both of his. I wanted to be punished for what I had done, taken out and beaten, made to climb a mountain with a bag of stones strapped to my back like that guy in the mission. Something really painful. This priest seemed to know what I was thinking, even though I didn't say anything, because he said very gently, Anil, this is penance. It's not punishment. You don't have to pay the price for your sins because Jesus Christ paid the price for you when he died on Calvary. Your sins are forgiven. It is at that moment that I realized how much God loved me, that even though I deserved to be punished, beaten, scourged, even put to death, he took my place and died for me. And it is at that moment that my life changed forever and has brought me to this moment where I now talk about Jesus to everybody. And there is one basic message to all those who accept him as their Savior. Your sins are forgiven. God bless you.